Have you just started playing guitar and maybe you're struggling to play chords, maybe they're buzzing a little bit or you're struggling to get your fingers in the right shapes or the right places to make it easy? Well you're in the right place because today I'm going to show you how to play a G chord and I'm going to show you a couple of different ways starting super easy and getting harder as we go. If you've struggled before and couldn't quite get it, stay tuned because this is going to make it super easy for you. Please do me a favour too, like this video and subscribe to my channel. The thing I see all the time with beginner guitarists is them struggling trying to play chords. In this video I'm going to show you not one, but actually five ways to play a G and the first is crazy easy just with one finger the third and the fourth are kind of the normal ways and then the last way is kind of a more advanced cool way so this first G chord just requires one finger your index finger so you can see a picture here and I call this the super easy G you can see here I've got my first finger actually on the third fret of the high E string so if I show you close up on the guitar here here's my high E string which is the the string closest to the floor okay the thin string the highest sounding string and I'm putting my first finger right on that third fret. Now be sure, like we've spoken about, you know, in the beginner's guitar course, if you haven't done that, there's a seven day beginner's challenge that I have on my YouTube channel, check it out. Make sure you keep your fingers right up to the fret like that, okay? It's really important. If it's in the middle or further back this way, you're gonna have to push harder and harder to get that note to really ring out clearly. So right behind the fret, I say about the thickness of a guitar pick just behind the fret there, so nice and simple. Now with this chord, if you look at that picture there, you can see I've got these two circles here on the high two strings and crosses on those low three. That is a super simple way to play a G chord and it sounds great. Okay. So if you're playing along with someone and they're playing a more sophisticated G, you can play that with them and it's going to sound awesome. And if you see G in, in music, you can just play that chord and it's going to sound great. Getting a little bit more complicated now, the second way to play a G is with two fingers, your index finger and your middle finger. If you have a look at this picture now, you can see I've got two fingers as opposed to the last one that just had the one finger there. We now have two fingers, so I've moved that first finger over one for like this. So that first G chord was this one here with the high three strings with my pick. Now I'm moving my first finger over to here and the second finger just here. Again, I'm just playing those three strings with my right hand. Okay, just these three strings here. Sounds great. Now you might be using your thumb instead of your pick. That's fine too. If you want to use a thumb, that's fine. You'll notice on the chord picture up here that I say pretty sound. That chord sounds really pretty if you hear that. Compared to that first one, which sounds cool, that second one that you're seeing on the screen here just sounds that little bit prettier. So you might be more inclined to try that one. Now again, that's super simple, just two fingers, those high three strings. Just watch the edge of that finger as it clipping that G string there, okay? If that, if that finger's kind of touching there, it might just be buzzing on that, that third string there, okay? So just watch that, just trying to keep it nice and clear on those two and give that little distance there so you get rid of all those buzzes. So just to recap now, we've got that first way to play a G. Okay. The next way we did it was like this. Again, just with those high three strings. Now this next way to play a G is what you'll see in probably like a chord book. If you bought a chord book or you go and see other artists on YouTube, this is like the standard G chord. This chord is considerably more difficult for a beginner. So if you're struggling with those other shapes, don't move on until you've got those. But then once you've got those sounding good, you can try this shape here. If you don't know the names of the strings or the easiest way to play the guitar, there's a link in the description below to sign up for my seven day guitar challenge. If you do that, you'll learn all that stuff. So just click below and check that out. So now to this G chord, you can see that picture there. So I'm gonna start with the first finger. So the first finger here is on the second fret of the A string. Okay, so we're up on the second fret of the A string there. The middle finger is down here on the third fret of the low E string. And the third finger is up there on the third fret of the high E. Okay, it sounds like this. It's all six strings. If you look at that picture there, you'll see I've got these circles on these uh, open strings here, which means to play them as opposed to those other pictures you saw that had like the crosses on them. That means don't play. But with this chord, we're playing all six strings with the right hand. So all six. Let's just go over that chord a whole lot slower, okay? So again, with the left hand, first finger is there on the second fret of the A string. All right, so of the six strings here, not the low E string, but the A string with your first finger. Make sure again that first finger is just behind the fret there, not too far in the middle or further back. That'll make it more difficult for you to play. Once you've got that comfortable, that second finger there, the middle finger is going to be on the third fret. One, two, three of the low E string. Now, a little trick for me is that I have that thumb around sort of the middle of the back of the neck there. So that bone of my thumb, that knuckle there, is sort of touching around the middle 
of the back of the neck, that knuckle there. That just helps my hand stay a bit further down. When people start, they often have their thumb up high, which means it's hard to reach around here to get to those frets. But if you have that thumb down, you can see my whole hand kind of moves around like that. So it makes it just that bit easier to get that those first two notes of the G chord. So now the last one up here is that third finger, trying to get that up there on that high E string. Now that's a bit of a stretch for a lot of people when they start, it feels quite awkward, but just do your best. If that's really hard, often I'll invite people to build the chord backwards. So put your third finger down first on that third fret of the high E, then reach across with that second finger to the low E, and then that first finger will kind of fall naturally Naturally. Now at first when you're playing these chords you might only get maybe three or four of these strings to ring out. You might have a few sort of dead notes when you play, sort of you know, something like that. Now that's often because some of these fingers here are hanging over a little bit this way so you can see that sort of angle there when the fingers coming off this way it actually clips that that next string that string underneath there is, is, is dead, it's muted. So what we want to do over time is actually bring that hand up a little bit so that finger there just clears that string underneath and doesn't mute it, okay? That again takes time um, and again watch that thumb just the further you can probably get that down the more it will help. Everyone's different so you just got to do what's right for you but generally these are the easiest ways to do it, okay? So there it is, just like that. So that's our G chord. Like I said, that's what we call the normal way to play a G chord. If you look in a chord book or something like that, that's what you'll see. Most people on YouTube, they're playing it like that. If that's too hard, you've already got two other ways to play that G chord. That super easy way we started with, with just one finger. You've also got two, way, two fingers here. And anyone that's playing a G chord and says, hey, play along with me, you can now play that first way. And it's gonna sound great. With those two, it's only three strings. All right, what do we got next? This one here is what we call a pretty, I call this a pretty G, and this is just a little bit more complicated. You can see that last G we played just had that third finger on the top here. Now this one here has the third and the fourth finger, or you can actually use the third and the third, sort of like this, um, to be, have it flat and use one finger. Let me show you what I mean on the guitar. I'll just start with that last G I just showed you. So we had this one we were just working on. Now, with this next one, I can either use my third and my fourth finger together here and play like that, or I can flatten my third finger across like in the picture here, and that's another way to play it. This is a little bit more tricky again. I love this chord, I call it a pretty G. I think of songs like um, Good Riddance by Green Day and Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. They've got that really beautiful song. Also Wonderwall by Oasis. It's got that beautiful sound at the top. Okay? So you don't quite get that, that beauty with that normal voicing. That was the other one, the normal G. But with this pretty G, okay, if I put that flat there, just gives it that little bit of brightness up that top of the chord. Okay, so a couple of different ways to play that. Again, that's considerably more advanced. I'm gonna give you one more way to play a G chord, and this way is really cool. You'll hear this a lot in reggae music. Now, for anyone that knows an F chord, um, the F chord looks like this. This is, uh, again, quite a bit more tricky, so if you're not a beginner, um, probably don't do this. Probably just work on those first two or three chords from this video. But this is an F chord, and this F chord is a difficult chord for a beginner guitarist. It's one that guitarists really struggle with when they're learning. Um, but what I've done here in this picture is I've just taken that F F chord shape and I've moved it up from F to F sharp and up to G. Okay. So that is another way to play a G chord and with that one if you look at those pictures I've got crosses on those bottom two strings so the low E and the A have got crosses on them uh, and it's just playing those high four strings so with my right hand here I'm on the D, the G, the B and the high E string so just those four and with my left hand here I'm just right there on that third fret there. So first finger, I've got my first finger, try it with me, I've got my first finger flat across the high two strings there. My second finger is on that fourth fret there on the G string and my third finger over there. Now this is quite difficult for a lot of people because to put the first finger flat like that and then reach over like this to put the finger there and there is very difficult without hitting those other strings and kind of, you know, you might get this sort of damp and muted sound that doesn't sound quite right something like that, but as you get it higher and you get more strength in the hand, you can really 
get those fingers to pop up just like that and it sounds awesome. So that's what the shape is. So I've just taught you five different ways to play a G chord. One finger. Play that four times. The next way we had was like this. We've got what we call the standard G, which looks a bit more like this. We've got what we call the pretty G, which looks a bit more like this. I'll use the two fingers. It's going to stretch across, get like that. It's got that really pretty sound at the top. And that last one we did was like this. Now the cool thing about this one, this is the chord shape that's often used in reggae music. So with that chord, you might have something like this. So what I'm doing there with my right hand is I'm hitting the lowest note because I'm only playing four strings, remember, okay? That chord, you can see those crosses on those low two strings. So I'm only playing those ones there and I'm playing the bass note first and then sort of the high three strings. So you get this kind of... Okay. You might often hear a guitarist playing this with um, upstrokes as well, so... You can imagine if you have that bass line. Drums, okay? It's got that cool sound. So that's just that voicing right there. Again, looks like that. So between those two, um, you've got a lot of different ways to play it from a beginner to a bit more of an intermediate player. Really cool. Depending on what I'm doing, depending on what sort of music I'm playing with, it depends on what style of G I'm playing. Also, depending what musicians I'm playing with, you know, if someone's sort of playing by the campfire and they're playing, say, that first G, you know, I might be more inclined to play just that top bit and make up a little melody from that. You know, all I'm doing there is instead of playing all three, I'm playing that kind of thing where I'm playing one note at a time and just kind of making up a rhythm. Or I might go with more of that kind of shape there. Okay. And go with that. And that's gonna sound really nice against another guitarist playing that first shape. They're quite contrasting, but they work really well together. I get a lot of guitarists coming to me that uh, they're looking for new ways to play it and they're sick of playing the one shape. So again, there's a stack there for you. That sounds so cool. So again, if you want to learn more about the guitar or struggling with any parts of understanding the strings, the frets, how to play the guitar the easiest way, in the uh, description below, I have a link to my seven day guitar challenge. It's free, you just got to sign up for it and away you go. So look forward to sharing all I can with you. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. If you would be so kind to, please like this video and subscribe to my channel.